Hello, Ken Obasi here again. It's uh, Monday. Uh, I forget what date it is, you know, doesn't matter. But I'm off work and I'm here in my studio and, uh, you know, it's just that I have a little time to uh, to work on some artwork or talk about some artwork uh, and everything. So uh, I hope you enjoy this and uh, hey, you know, everything is improvis improvisational, is just right off the cuff and, you know, it's just that uh, probably uh, as time goes on, I'll, I'll probably jot down some notes or whatever, but, you know, right now I'm not worried about jotting down notes and jotting out, you know, in terms of what I'm going to talk about, you know, I just talk about what's on my heart, and uh, there it is. You got it. You know, so uh, primarily, uh, as you can hear in the background, I got my music going. Uh, working on this piece. Uh, actually, this piece is uh, Haru, which is one of the uh, comedic uh, deities. And uh, so I'm, I'm working with him and, uh, you know, uh, now, you know, I'm pretty much finished with this piece. Uh, sometimes uh, I get this desire to, uh, you know, uh, you know, when I look at pieces, I, I get this desire to add something to it uh, or whatever, you know, it's just that, uh, it's just one of those things that uh, happens uh, to me, and, you know, I guess it's part of the way I work, and it's the way I've always uh, worked. Uh, you know, he says that until till the spirit knocks me in the head and says, like, hey, you're, you're finished with this piece. You know, I will uh, always, uh, you know, embellish, add something. Uh, Sometimes I might take a, take something away, you know. Uh, just uh, just depends on uh, how how I feel at the time, you know. Actually, uh, Haru, another name for Haru is Horus, and uh, Horus is a now basically what I want to do up here is uh, he's a falcon head uh, headed sky and sun god representing strength and victory his father is Osiris who was killed by Osiris is killed by his uncle Set his mother is Isis uh, now Isis was uh, magically brought, Isis magically brought Osiris back to life just long enough to conceive Horus. Then Seth killed Osiris again and dismembered his body so that he couldn't be revived. To avoid Seth's murderous action, Isis born, uh, had this son, who is Horus. Uh, in order to battle Seth to avoid Seth's murderous, act, murderous actions, Isis bore and raised Horus in a papyrus. Isis used the magical skills she learned from Ra and Thoth to keep Horus safe. So, so basically, that's just a little information on uh, Horus and. Uh, you know, and, and one of the things that I'm I'm uh, uh, have been working on is uh, some of the uh, Egyptian deities. Uh, you know, doing a little research and and uh, you know, because uh, one of the things that uh, I uh, come to understand is that actually their skin is like bluish green. You know. Uh, color 
you know, uh, they had a, a kind of a different DNA, a different blood type, uh, which uh, gave them strength, supernatural strength, uh, you know, a different type of life. And uh, so, uh, so basically what I'm, I'm doing, that's why that, you know, you will see a lot of the, uh, the deities of the gods, comedic gods will be painted maybe a dark blue or greenish blue or green for that matter, you know, and, uh, which personifies the energy, you know. So, uh, so basically, uh, that's a, now, uh, these pieces, uh, if uh, any of you out there are interested in getting a copy of the piece, I, you know, I'm going to be doing prints or whatever, you know, it's just, you can message me in my, uh, Beyond Image, uh, collective, uh, messenger and, and, uh, just let me know you want something, I'll get together with you and, you know, we'll get a print out to you and, uh, you know, somewhere like 40 bucks, 40 bucks, you know, and, um, you know, depending on, you know, if I just get the print, if I frame it, you know, it's going to be more, but, uh, primarily, you know, I, I'm, I don't really like to frame this stuff, I'd rather for you to frame it and, uh, you know, in the frame it with the frame that you want. So, uh, but yeah, uh, I just uh, kind of wanted to talk about that piece uh, in terms of what I'm doing, and and of course I will be talking about some some other pieces that uh, are in the same vein and and everything. So, uh, you know. Primarily, uh, you know, that's where I'm at with it. So, uh, again, uh, last time I uh, posted posted video, you know, I'm gonna take this piece down. Uh, I was working on the angel Jophiel, and uh, you know, it's just that time. So, you know, she's, uh, you know, like I've explained, you know, she's kind of like the patron of artists or folks who are in the creative realm of uh, doing work or doing things in order to inspire others. So, uh, you know, so, but what I'm doing with this piece is I'm, uh, working this piece and putting my intentions into this piece for healing you know and uh and actually the the original piece will end up going to someone who needs the healing you know but at the same time uh as i finish this piece and as i work on this piece when i get finished with this piece uh i will be doing uh prints and uh if you're interest, interested in a print, you know, uh, you could uh, message me uh, through Beyond Image Green Collaborative and, uh, you know, and we'll get together and you can get a print. So, uh, so primarily, but let, let's, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, you know, work some more with this piece. Um, as I was saying last time, um, you know, and, and I did a few different things uh, to the piece, but I'm still working with bringing, put, bring out the, uh, luminescence of what uh, angels, you know, or ascended beings like angels represent. So uh, I'm going going to uh, try 
right now, I'm, I'm going to add a little bit more I'm going to add a little bit more yellow to her, to the wings, and uh, okay. And uh, kind of bring out that uh, you know, bring bring out kind of like that almost yellowish golden sheen. You know, and uh, here I'm, I'm gonna be doing doing the same thing up here to the hair. And uh, now, you know. I, you know, I'm, I'm going to leave the face formless. Uh, you know, and, and it's almost as if, uh, you know, uh, sometimes you, you know, you want to see the features of the face, but the features could be, it could be any feature, uh, you know, uh, you know, if I, I if I designate a feature for the face, you know, then you, it's designated in your mind that this is the way the face should look. But uh, basically, I, you know, whoever looks at this piece, you know, the uh, uh, features of the face are not really that important. You know, what is really important is the, the energy that comes from her presence, you know. So, uh, even sometimes if, if you, you know, when you see an angel, you may not recognize, you may not see the features of the face, you know, and, uh, you know, you, you see the angel, but, uh, the features may be a little... Used, like you know, and that's that's basically the the kind of a, a situation that I'm you know working on with this is just I'm um, just want to fuse the image, you know, to the point of uh, let me uh, go over here and turn on some more music. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, fuse the image to the point of, uh, you know, everything coming together as a, uh, now, uh, primarily, uh, one of the things that uh, I'm doing to her is, uh, I'm gonna put a little bit more white around her cipher. And, uh, you know, at the ends of the, uh, the ends of the, her wings, See, fuse that yellow down a little bit. Okay. 
little streak of white, just a little up here. And uh, Just a tad of, of blue. Just a tad of blue into our cipher. And this this blue is kind of like behind the wings a little bit. Blue is just kind of Kind of fuse this green in. Okay. And uh, And actually, this kind of started out as a indigo blue, but uh, here we go. Put a little bit on her arms. Now, as you can see, you know, kind of balance out things a little bit. I have a little, a little bit of red over here. And, uh, just a tad of red. Just enough to now sometimes I, I, I you know get the uh, desire to collage. Collage uh, images into what I paint, but I'm not gonna do that this time. Um, you know, this time I'm just kind of going to uh, leave her. Actually, there, there is a sense of collage there already. Bring out her
bring out our face a little bit. Finishing up on this piece, uh, what I will be doing also is uh, putting a layer of, uh, of uh, acrylic and uh, I will, um, let's see if I could do that now. gives her power, and, you know, I mean, you know, it's just that, uh, she, as it is, uh, uh, projects a certain amount of power, and just the way she's standing, and the way she's looking, you know, and, uh, some glitter here but this is a little bit too much you know I mean you don't want to uh, you know put a dominant type uh, substance on you know and then it it will pull away from the other parts of the piece because you know because what, what you're doing is basically fusing in the piece and whatever you put in you want it to be just as light as everything else so uh, it doesn't pull away from you know the overall piece and uh, so uh, and normally I do have uh, glitter and uh probably right now uh, like you know like I always say that I'm very improvisational when it comes down to uh, working in the studio and and uh, working things out and and you become you get to uh, be a part of the process uh, and you know and that's uh, what I mean, you know, some people, different people do their art differently. Uh, you know, different people, uh, different artists. Some artists are very meticulous, very static. Uh, 
in their application. Uh, I'm not. Uh, you know, it's just that uh, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, a lot more, you know, uh, suddenly more spontaneous, you know, is, uh, is a word that I want to wanted to say, but, uh, you know, not finding any, anything like glitter here, uh, which is, is fine because what I can do is, uh, when I do find some glitter, you know, um, I find what I want, I will, uh, do another video and show you the piece before I say, well, yeah, everything is done. You know, but uh, again, um, you know, that's uh, the angel, Jophiel, is, uh, I'm working on her, and I should be finished with her uh, pretty soon, and uh, I know in the studio, I got some glitter here, but, uh, and, and, and the, the glitter I'm talking about is kind of more transparent, you know, more like white. You know, you know what I'm talking about, you know. And, uh, you know, the kind of, uh, not too, uh, like I was telling you before, be overwhelming, you know. And, uh, you know. But, uh, here I just grabbed another piece here. And, uh, and you know, and I grabbed this piece in order to to show you that uh, I am very improvisational. And uh, this is uh, this works in with my uh, Basquiat-like uh, images or whatever. You know, I love Don Michelle Basquiat. So, uh, you know, and, and people that know my artwork know that I do, uh, you know, I do, you know, a lot of images that are in, in the tradition of uh, John uh, Michel Basquiat, uh, you know, and, and, a, and, a, lot, and a lot of the work, um, You know, and, and this piece here, uh, this this part here is collage, you know, and everything else is painting, you know. So I will be working on this piece uh, uh, in the uh, next videos or whatever, and and I'll show you another piece uh, by John Michel Basquiat. And, uh, and and as you can see, also in this piece, I'm incorporating a little collage and and uh, and everything. And this this piece is actually be done is done on a semi frame, you know. Um, but uh, you know, but you know, a lot a lot of the pieces that I do in that uh, in that spirit are extremely spontaneous, uh, extremely uh, improvisational. And, uh, you know, it's just that, uh, you know, and sometimes, you know, as I work on a piece, uh, um, I'm, you know, I, I don't even know where it's gonna go, you know. But as time goes on, you know, the spirit would tell me, uh, well, do this do that, you know, and, uh, and things of that nature. So, you know, as you can see, I kind of work, uh, within two different flows, you know, I mean, you know, of course my first, uh, love, you know, in terms of, uh, application and, and, uh, medium is, is collage, you know, 
and and I also do some uh, uh, three dimensional type things like some assemblages, uh, you know. So uh, you'll see all of that. But uh, right now you you're right in my studio. You're able to uh, uh, see what I'm doing in the studio. Uh, you know how I uh, come up with my ideas. You know. Um, yeah, this is at the, see if I can find another, uh, piece that, uh, it's, uh, my, my Basquiat type of flow. Another is another piece that uh, that is in the, the tra tradition of my Basquiat flow, uh, and is another piece here, you know, which is called the Holy Ghost, you know. So, um, you know, just just showing you some things in terms of uh, what I do and and uh, what keeps me going and and keeps everything uh, in the flow, you know. So, uh, hey, I want to thank you for, uh, you, you know, taking the time out to watch my video. Um, um, you know, one of the things, that, again, I, I'm, you know, it, you will uh, have a bird's eye view of... Uh, of me doing my work and talking about things and and really uh, you know talking about things that are happening you know happening out here because it's you know because it's crazy out here and uh, sometimes sometimes you know and as much as you can, you have to take that mask off and uh, and just go for it, you know, because I'm telling you, you know, it's just that uh, things are changing uh, depending on how we connect with it. Uh, you know, it just depends on how we see the change that is, is happening. So, you know, I'm not here to tell you how to see it. I'm just uh, here to say, hey, you know, uh, you know, uh, if there's something that you can do to get away from it, and and if you can, like, spend some time during the day to meditate, to get quiet, to, to find the deepness, deepness within yourself, it's going to help you get through all these changes. So thank you for watching, uh, Ken Bossy. Hey, uh, I guess I could say put a like on the video if uh, you like it. Um, you know, let me know because um, uh, I'm you know I'm just starting out with this and and it's something that I will be doing. So whether you like it or not, uh, until next time. A double.